I'm Hello and welcome to another edition of ChadWSmith.com. I'm your off-screen host, Chad W. Smith, and I've got something to say. And I would like to say hello to my MSI Win U100 netbook. This netbook is pretty much like a lot of other netbooks, except for one difference, and that is the operating system. You see, this netbook has not one, not two, but three operating systems. The main one is Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 3 that comes with the netbook. There's also Ubuntu Netbook Remix 9.04 edition. And finally, last but certainly not least, is Macintosh OS 10.5.6 Leopard. That's right, OS X is running on this. Now you can see here the screen is where you would choose between these systems. If you don't do anything, it'll go directly into Mac, uh, but it also has the other systems available there for you. And it's logging in, and here you see the Apple screen that is oh so familiar to all of us Mac heads out there. The reason there were no more than three lines there is because Ubuntu has uh, several options, a memory test option and a recovery option, so that's why there were more than three options there. But it's Mac, Ubuntu, and Windows. As you can tell, it does take a little while to log in. This is a netbook. It's not superly high-powered, but it does have a lot of features. Uh, it has, this is, uh, like I said, 10.5.6 Leopard that's running. The screen here is the, log the wireless login screen, and that screen is going to uh, pop up as soon as you log in because this has a wireless in uh, wireless adapter inside of it. Uh, that's what it came with, but it doesn't have uh, the drivers for it under Mac. So you see here, I'm going to log in, and it automatically logged in to mine because I'd already set that up beforehand. There's the dock, and I've got a bunch of different apps for it. Uh, it's got Microsoft Office 2008, got iLife 09, iWork 09, all that's on there. And... I'm not really sure what that is. I don't remember what I just clicked on. You can't really see it too well. Uh, I'm doing this audio post, which is not normally what I do, so that's why I don't match up exactly. But this is my first off-screen video, so there you go. But everything works. The battery life is shows up there. The Bluetooth shows up there. The wireless does not show up there, but like I said, it does show up in the beginning. It automatically logs you in. There's different things. The camera also works under Mac. Uh, it's got a 1.3 megapixel camera. It works under all three operating systems. I'm going to show that to you now. I'm going to fire up Photo Booth as soon as I can find that. But uh, what I'm the only thing that doesn't work under Mac is the audio ports in and out. Now, it does have a built in microphone and it does have built in stereo speakers. Those both work under Mac. But what doesn't work is the audio in and out ports, like the headphone jack and the mic jack on the side. Those don't work. Uh, so here I am, I think, looking for the photo booth. Uh, time machine works, so you can back up your thing, uh, which I keep forgetting to do before I sell these. I do sell this, so just so you can see that. Just so you know that I do sell these, so they are available. I'll have the link in the comments over here. But here you see the light coming on for the webcam, and there you see Infinity. There's one of the few times you'll see me in this video. Hi, hello, and uh, close that out. But yes, this is an unbroken, unedited shot. I thought about editing it, but I wanted to let you know that this is the same system running all three operating systems. And here are the keyboard. I've got the Apple stickers on there so that the keyboard will match up with more uh, Mac-like options. Uh, if you don't want those, I don't want to have those. But found a place online that sells those stickers, so it really helps. And they're not that expensive. But it's a neat little addition to make it look more like a Mac. So here I'm playing with it some more. I think I'm 
I'm going to restart it. Yeah, there we go. We're restarting the system. And there's the microphone right there that does, again, work under Mac. The, only the mic in port on the side doesn't work, and the uh, headphone jack doesn't work. So now, here's that screen again. And again, if I didn't do anything, it would go directly into Mac. But we're going to show you Ubuntu here. Uh, so it's starting up. It should start up faster than Mac, but not quite as... You know, it's not super fast. I have tried a different version of Linux called Presto, and it worked rather well. The only problem is it costs money. Uh, Ubuntu is free. Presto is not. Presto works rather well. The beta testing did. Uh, I haven't tried the, the non-beta version, so I don't know how well that works. And I've read a few things online that make me think it was actually a step backwards, a step in the wrong direction. Sorry for the shadow here. As you can see, the wireless works right off the bat. Uh, it's saying wireless, uh, wireless networks are available. I'm going to show you the camera working here. Again, the light comes on. A little processing time. And the light, there it goes. And here we go. And we're about to see me. There we go. There it is again. Here I am. Hello. Hi, Chad. But I wanted to show you that. So it does work. Again, the battery reads just fine, and it's got this nice little, uh, you know, quick launch screen. You can see the different wireless networks that are available. Or you can't see it now because the camera uh, is not catching up the light very well. But, but uh, the battery works, the wireless works, the Bluetooth works. It does have built-in Bluetooth, and again, wireless in. If you're going to mainly use Mac, uh, it's really a little bit better to not get the wireless in simply because the wireless in doesn't, but the drivers don't mesh completely with Mac OS X. They work, but they're not as seamless as the drivers are for wireless G. So here I am. I'm going to restart the system. Again, this is uh, Ubuntu Netbook Remix 9.04. It's work, it's set up specifically for netbooks. That's why it's got that, uh, interface GUI that comes on there. Standard Ubuntu as of 9.04 should install right off the bat and have all the drivers for it. Uh, so you don't need a specific netbook distro to do that. But here's, uh, Microsoft Windows XP. Not anything special here. This is, uh, the Home Edition Service Pack 3 that comes with the uh, MSI Win. So it is genuine. That's a little bit special, I guess. So we're looking at that here. It does take a little while to log in and power up. But then again, it's Windows, so that's to be expected. <laughs> uh, a little bit more about the system as it's logging in, and the admin thing will pop up here in a second. Uh, it's... 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom processor, the N270 uh, version of that processor. I've upgraded the RAM to 2 gigabytes, which is as much as uh, the MSI Win can hold. It comes with a 160 gigabyte hard drive, which is bigger than the hard drive that came with my MacBook, if you can believe that, and my little netbook here. So it's got plenty of room for all three operating systems. My first MacBook only had a 60 gig hard drive. I'm and that was plenty of room for me back in the day. Uh, so when it comes with Bluetooth, wireless in, a 1.3 megapixel camera, I've upgraded this. It's got, uh, it, I think I was pointing out that it had Internet Explorer 8 installed. All the uh, things were updated. Again, Microsoft Office 2007 is installed on this, as well as Firefox, iTunes, Safari, the Google Pack, including... Google Chrome, uh, Google Talk, all that stuff, the live spaces, all that thing is, is installed on it. So it's got plenty of stuff you can do with it. The way I set mine up, it's got four partitions. Uh, I think I talked about that earlier, or I showed that earlier, but I can't let me show it here. Uh, it's got four partitions, uh, one for Windows, one for Mac, one for Ubuntu, and the other is for... Uh, I called it media, but it's for swapping files. So you can put stuff on that drive and have it on all 
but have it available to you on all four operating or all three operating systems. And so I'm powering it down here. But that's it. That's my MSI Wind Netbook. If you want one, check my website out, chadwsmith.com. Check the links here in the YouTube notes. So thanks for watching, and once again, I'm your host, Chad W. Smith of chadwsmith.com.